Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today it's been a lovely sunny, kind of warmish day. It's not been amazingly warm, but it's been warmer than it has been. And my body was like, hooray. So I have nipped out today and I did come back and whatever I picked up today will be featured in a different video. But I came back to a parcel. So let's talk about shoes. So guys, I have got an extreme uh, thing about shoes. I collect shoes. I, I can't explain it. It is who I am. I like shoes. I've liked shoes since I was a kid. And if I can find shoes at a reasonable price, I will. Now, I have not bought these. My husband had. And it was it was one of these. I get like emails saying new in stock, blah, 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 blah. And I had an email from everything is £5 saying there's new things in at the moment. You what we call new drops, but not not in that kind of way. So I thought, oh, I'll have a look. I don't want anything, but I'll have a look. So I had a look and I spotted some shoes. Now my husband funds my shoes. You probably guessed that. Um, only on occasion, sometimes he can't afford to fund my shoes. But um, I just sent him some links. I didn't want them. I didn't want them. I just said, oh my God, look at these shoes for a fiver. How good is this shop? I says, although I've got enough shoes, so I don't. I sent um, five pictures, five pictures, I think, either four or five different shoes that I thought were really, really nice on there. And that was that. And he just said, yeah, they're really good for the price then, babe, aren't they? And I said, yeah, yeah, really good. That was the end of that, guys. And then I just deleted the email because I thought, oh, I don't want to have a look at things that I, I, I don't want to buy. I can't buy. I'm on a, I'm on, I am on a no buy February. But if there's things like below twenty pound, I'm going to pick them up because that's that's reasonable enough. Um, and if I got loads for my money for twenty pound as well, if one thing's one twenty pound, I wouldn't. I, no, I'm trying to be really, really tight with my money. So anyway, this parcel was here when I just got in and I went, what's that? And it had my name on it. I said, I haven't ordered anything from everything five pound. They said, no, I've ordered you some stuff. I went, you've ordered me some stuff. And then I remembered the shoes and I went, you ordered the bloody shoes, didn't you? And he went, um, I might have done. And he said, let's just say that this is your last, last birthday gift. And it didn't cost me that much. But he said postage did. I weren't very happy about the postage. But there's a lot of shoes going in there. So guys. Ugh. I'm not right good at picking every ah, boxes. Guys, this is super heavy. Too heavy for me. So this is the bloody box that I come on to. I, I, I said I'd never, I'd never have a box like that from everything £5. Because I don't spend that much on everything £5. Probably one pair of shoes. Because... Although the shoes are really, really good for five pounds, some of them I don't, I not my kind of shoes. And some of these I thought were nice, but I probably wouldn't wear them. And it's got a head, it's got a head and bottom. So this is the box. Jesus. Um, let's crack it open. In fact, I could do with putting it on my knee, really. So I, I know what shoes they are. I have not gone back on, on to my message with my husband to have a look which shoes they were. I just hope, my husband knows what size shoe I am now, but I've seen so many people that have had shoe hauls from everything five pound and they've been sent wrong size shoes. And I'm like, <gasps> that would, I've already gone through that with Bill's Kill. I, I wouldn't want to go through it again. Oh God, some of these boxes guys are like all thrown about and battered. Right. So, this is a box full of bloody shoes. I have no room for any more shoes, guys. Can I just say? You know how some people collect, I don't know, figurines or teddies and stuff like that and you can't move because there's so many? This is me and shoes, guys. It's that serious, okay, that I have, I think I have two Big storage boxes in the loft full of shoes. I have two wardrobes, three, ah, three wardrobes full of shoes, all underneath my bed, and another storage box under my bed full of shoes. It is serious, guys. I need to stop. I really, and maybe I need to go to like 
a shoe anonymous if there's such thing as that one yeah there is there's five pairs of bloody shoes in here guys oh my god and he has right so this is a pair that i i just oh, i don't know the only pair of, of white shoes, like not white shoes, but white trainers I own, I like my Nike ones. And I wear them because when my back is extremely bad and I have to go out somewhere, I know that I'm going to be in comfort for the whole kind of place I've got to go to. So I spotted these and I said, oh, they're quite funky. So this is the box that they come in and it says Sergio Todd's. Doesn't say anything, just that they're all size seven. So guys, <laughs> I can't believe it's bought me these shoes. Uh, I like these because they're a platform, but they're white. And I didn't say to buy them. I didn't say for him to buy them. I just said, <laughs> white platform trainers. Oh, calm down, Rachel. And they're holographic at the back. Oh, God. I don't know if I'm brave enough to wear these guys. So, um, oh, my Lord. <laughs> so, these, these are some jazzy ass sparkly white platform trainers if you want to call them trainers obviously they're not branded they're size seven mm, they, i love that smell the smell of new shoes so um yeah i mean could i dye them black <laughs> or red Do you, does anybody know if you can dye shoes pop a comment on below and let me know because um, these would be perfect to dye, but I don't know if you could dye them. But yeah, they look all right. They've got this hologram strip at the back. Um, it is like definitely like glitter. It's like glitter. It's like somebody's put glue on it and just put a glitter pot all over it. Same on the tongue as well. It feels very rough to touch, guys. Not very nice to touch. In fact, it's, it's going right through me. And then it's just this normal lace up. I think if I can't dye these, I will probably jazz up the... I'm going to Aflex Palace, I keep telling you guys, and you're probably sick of hearing it, but I just love this shop. And I'm going there, and they sell, like, funky laces. So I might get some really gothy, funky laces for these and jazz them up, maybe. What do you guys think? So that's them, guys. I will get the other one out, but I'll do a try-on, as always, at the end. Please don't laugh, guys, because I've got my leggings on, and I'll probably look at in them with my leggings on but they were free for me if you're looking at it that way call it husband pr yeah i call this hubby pr do anybody else have hubby pr right so next pair of shoes is in this really nice pretty box and again it's this sergio from the same brand as them ones i like this box it's quite funky as you know i like boxes and it's got a hole in it so they breathe Oh my god, what are these? I see I see white and I just go, ooh, what is in these? So guys. Oh. Oh, I remember. Oh, check this out. So there's like a little card that comes with it, and it's like, how to care for your footwear. Um, I don't know what that is. But oh, these are quite oh I've, oh these are quite nifty. Oh yeah. Oh God, yeah. I, do you know why I like these guys? You probably laugh. I like these for this design here. And I just think they're really quirky. These would look really, really nice with a nice long black dress. And I, I like this. I love, I've got a pair of black open toe shoes like this, but they're opened and they're like, they're like sock boots and I absolutely love them. And they've got a heel. Now the instep look, mind you, they look a little bit high in the instep, but I'll try them on and see what they look like. I like this effect. It's really, really funky. I kind of like the whole design. I'm not a fan of pointed toe shoes, guys. My husband knows that. But for a night out, I mean, I'm going to be going out soon with my, my very, very best buddy, Gemma. We're going to be going out soon, um, doing like a belated birthday thing, because I'm going away for my birthday, so... We're going to go out when I come back and I've picked up a couple of dresses and I just think that these would look really pretty with it. Although I, we go to alternative places, we do go in some normal pubs as well. Normal. Although I never look normal. <laughs> but yeah, that was them guys. So £5. Want to see a try on? I can't really say much about them apart from they are the stretchy sock 
kind of boot. Here is more of a hard wearing kind of boot. And this is like this leather and it's all Velcroed. I love it. I love this. I've got a pair of shoes that are like this. I just think it's quirky. I like quirky shoes. My sister might like these. She'll probably look at these and go, oh, I like them. So that is my second pair of PR shoes, guys. This video is going to be a long one. I'll try and keep it as short as I can, but five pairs of bloody shoes. So that's that. Um, and there's another one like that. I wonder if it's... No, it can't have bought me two pairs of them. Now I'm really confused. Guys, stay with me. Oh, freaking hell, these are heavy. What the heck are these? So again, these same, same box. These are Sergio Todsi. I don't know if this is like a brand from a brand shop because these are supposed to be like, some are on branded and some are from like, like shops. Hey, are they the same? They look the same. I'm confused. That looks the same. Is that the same? Okay, um, I'll say let you look at them first, but oh, oh my god, oh. <laughs> so, right, so <laughs> I picked these to show my husband, oh what is it like, bless him, so I went for a public desire haul way way when I started my channel and I thought that they were amazing, but I'm not joking guys, the instep was like that beautiful as they were you can come in dear hubby as beautiful as they were the instep was drastic and i struggled to high hell with them my husband's bringing me a coffee thank you thank you thank you i'll discuss this shoe thing with you after <laughs> so i spotted these guys and i said oh look they look like public desire but boobs <laughs> Wow, look at these bad boys. So these are certainly different, guys. <laughs> so they're open toe, which I'm a big fan of open toe shoes. I don't know if you know that. And the Perspex. Oh, I can't wait to try these on. Now, I'm not really good with, with boots like this because my legs are quite big, my calves, but I've lost some weight, guys. So chances are, looking at this, these will probably fit me. Um, they're like a snake skin in the white and black design and they zip up the front. They're very quirky and they're, they're very fashionable actually. I kind of like these. But what would you wear them with, guys? I think I would probably have to wear um, maybe a nice black gothic skirt or a gothic pencil skirt or maybe a PVC skirt and a PVC top or maybe a snake skin PVC outfit. Hmm. I won't put more back because we're going to do a try on. But um, yeah, size seven, perspex, and this looks like like a leather. Like I've said, they've come with like a cur instruction. So it says leather shoes, suede shoes, fabric shoes, decorated shoes, heels, and so forth. So it tells you everything. That's really good that they do that. That that comes with it. To say that these shoes are only five pound each, guys. So. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 pound. I pay more than that for one pair of bloody boots. 25 pound, I've got five pairs of shoes and it was 11 pound delivery, guys. That is where he said it was a little bit steep, but he said there is five pairs of shoes and they're quite heavy. Now, Truffle Collection is one of my favorite shoe, cheap shoe brand collection. I do like Truffle. I own a lot of Truffle shoes and some that are gothic. So I'm excited to see what them ones are. But let's go for these ones next. So these ones are ideal shoes. I like the box, nice night white box. I've no idea what these ones could be. I've completely forgot what I sent him until I see him. So these are size seven as well. So let's show you guys first. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh my God, so guys. Um, so these are one pair of shoes I said I want to buy. This is where it went because these popped up on my inbox like new drops and these and I actually sent the first picture of these to him and I went, I'm going to buy these when I come back from Manchester when I say how much money I've got. Oh, and he's bought them, me. Oh, guys, I, I love red. I, I do own a lot of red shoes as well, but I've never, I've got black and red boots, but I don't think I own any red boots. But don't quote me on that. I may do and I just don't remember. But oh my God. I love them 
I love them. So they're suede, guys. They are suede. Oh, my God. Look at them. They're quite beastie. They're quite platformy, and I like that. And I'm wearing red. These will look amazing together. I can't wait to try these on. So these were size 7. Five freaking quid, guys. £25 for five pairs of shoes. These alone, I probably would have paid up to 30 quid for these. Probably 40. I wouldn't have gone 50, but I probably would have gone up to 40 because... I like them, the red, the suede. They've got a zip at the side, guys, which is good, so they'll zip up. Um, the only problem with having suede shoes is if you're caught out in a rainstorm, water and suede don't go too well together. I may have to buy some suede cleaner for these. I don't have any. Oh, I like the feel of it, it's so nice. Um, and I love the fact that I'd say that the, the bottom here is probably about a three inch. Um, platform and then the heels probably about 12 I didn't do that with all them shoes guys but what I may do is try all these on maybe wear I, I don't know if I can wear them booties for a long period of time but I'll wear these for as men as long as I can these I will I think I'm going to travel in these to Rochdale guys and put my other boots in there I'm traveling these with this and a few of my red tops yeah that's what I'm going to do this is a kill star top by the way and I love it it's one of my favorite kill star tops um yeah i'll come back and i'll do an, an honest honest review because as nice as these shoes do look do they do they comfort are they comfy and that's what worries me sometimes i've got so many pairs of shoes that i can't wear guys because they cripple me and i know there's two pairs of shoes on my giveaways if you haven't noticed that go and jump on it guys i think it's 700 and 500 subscriber giveaway i know i'm not near to that yet but if you want to be a part of winning them shoes they're very unusual <laughs> One's public desire, one's from a China um, designer shop and they cost me a lot of money. So it is a very good giveaway. So jump on that. Right, last pair of shoes, a truffle. I do not remember these at all now because they're the only shoes that I actually wanted. And so I've had a pair of pair of trainers. Um, I haven't got a clue. I'm not even gonna think about it because my head hurts. And I've got a nice big box to dispose of. So this is the truffle collection. I have no idea what these are. I don't remember showing five. Maybe this is a pair he's picked on his own back. I don't know. But he knows I like truffle shoes. I own about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten. Ten, maybe 14 pairs of truffle shoes. So, yeah. Right. Let's do the last reveal with you guys. Whoa. Oh, I do remember. I've just been... Oh, oh my God. Right, I did put these on the list. I did show them these, but I didn't, I did, again, I didn't want him to buy them, me. Oh, what is it like? So these are vintage, I class these like vintage shoes. So, you know, I'm doing this alternative contest in September. Um, I'm going for a certain like look, certain theme. And I said to him, if I could learn to walk back in shoes again, which is hard because my back's forever, you know, I'm not going to get better for my back. I would love these because they look very vintage -y. I like the mid-calf boot. Oh, it's gone, got me. I wasn't keen on the, I wasn't keen on the pointed toe. I think these are going to hurt. Look at the, look at the instep on them, guys. Oh, it's like being on your tiptoe. I just don't think it's a very comfortable um, feeling to be elevated like this anybody else like with back issue or knee issue will agree with me it hurts it hurts really bad and i even buy like the comfy insole thing so i get some comfort but i struggle after a few hours i get cramp in my calf i've had dvt i've had um, i've had muscle damage in my calf from a dvt and uh, if i was to go on a night out i think i would be crippled after 20 minutes in these but look how beautiful they are, guys. They lace up. They look quite weird from the front. Like, oh, my God, these are going to kill me. But they are very, very pretty. They're pretty to the eye. The heel is like it goes in a in a thin kind of fat kind of way. They've got quite good thingies. But the elevation on these, yeah, is a lot to be desired. I think I'm going to hurt. They've got a zip at the side, guys. They're not very giving on, on the leg. Hopefully I can zip these up because there's no elastic kind of give unless you can loosen this bit up. Um, and they look like genuine leather. I don't know. 
but is that a mark on them no so that is my five pairs of shoes now let me just see what it reads on here because i'm sure there's names to all these shoes right so these are thin spool heel ankle i knew that because that's what i described that as being a thin spool so that's them five pound the high top glitter trainers so the high tops yep yeah. and then you've got your illusion print pointy boots which were the ones that have got them black clippy ins chunky red suede um platform boots love them they're my favorite out of the whole lot and then you've got your snake skin transparent boots and that is it no prices but there's my information oh my god so that's it guys that is my big reveal done um how do i feel um i say i feel really overwhelmed because i've <laughs> my husband's he's bought me the demonia for my birthday as you've seen um he's actually bought me a pair of designer shoes which i won't say too much about because i don't know how, how these videos are going to go on but he got me them and i thought they were a bit strange <laughs> bit strange but then when i looked up the designer i was like oh my god i own a pair of them now my husband says i don't expect you to spend this back on me on my birthday i do this because one, you're my wife. Two, you never asked me for anything much. Um, and three, these were dirt ass cheap. He said, I'd rather buy you five pairs of shoes than pay £150 for one pair of boots. But I understand why you like new rocks and demonies and so forth. I totally get it. But there we go, guys. All right, I'll go try them on. Stay to the end. See what you think. I'll come back in maybe once time from this date and tell you how I feel about some of them if not all of them i don't know how many pairs i'm going to get to wear if, if not any the red ones i probably will the others probably not but when i do get to wear them i'll come back and i'll tell you my honest review but when i try them on i will i will if some of them are really really bad guys like really bad i'll come back after the try on and tell you there's a deal. If I don't come back, it means they're all perfect. All right, guys, take care of yourself. Pop the comments on below. If you've never checked out Everything Five Pounds, I'll link it down below. Go and check it out. They've got some nice stuff on there, even for the alternative. All right, guys, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.
guys, I said I'd come back and tell you. Um, because I've got like scar tissue on the back of my calf. This one is tight, like suffocate in my calf tight. This one isn't, but you can loosen the straps at the side. So I reckon, I reckon you can loosen it off and it's and the plastic will still stretch. But right now my calves are going, ah, release me. But um, the instep's not that bad. They're a kitten heel, really. When you, no, they're not. They're not kitten heel. They're massive. But the instep's not that bad. I can walk in these because they're quite like secure here. But um, yeah, not the comfiest out of the lot, guys. Um, and nothing so far for the others because they were all comfy. All right, next pair. These boots were made for walking. That's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. <laughs> You've been saying something that you shouldn't be saying. Okay guys, I did think I'd we'd be coming back with these ones. Um I'm elevated quite a lot and <laughs> these shoes just I don't know why guys, but when I look down like at, in this angle, it looks like I've got the wrong shoe on the wrong foot. This looks like I'm wearing my left and this one looks like I'm wearing my right. It just looks really odd, but I don't know. I don't know if I like them or not. I can't figure out. When they're together like that, they look very, very nice. But they are very high. But the fact that they're like mid-calf, they're not too bad to support my ankles. But um, I think I would ache in these after a while. But um, yeah, nice for vintage boots. All right, guys, that is the end. Thank you for watching. And um, pop your comments down below. Tell me if you like any of these. Tell me if these look like cockeyed boots. <laughs> and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.